All right, today in our article, it starts out by saying, Hello, everyone, and thanks again for having me today. So, of course, we can see that someone is giving a speech. Ah, yes.、Mm -hmm. That's a strange thing for you to say if、mm -hmm. you're just talking, but if you're giving a speech or a presentation, standing up and talking to a big group of people, That would be a wonderful way to start.、Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have to tell them who you are、yes. and why you are talking to them. So、mm -hmm. the article continues with that. It says, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Clark Retson, and I'm here to talk about employee happiness. Good stuff.、So、I've given you my name,、mm -hmm. and I've given you the topic or the subject of my speech. Employee.、Mm -hmm. Happiness. So now is a good time to look at this word employee. It's a noun, and employee is basically a worker. That's right. Someone who's been given a job, who works for a company or a business of any kind, would be an employee. If you're、mm -hmm. a secretary, a truck driver, or just work in a Seven Eleven serving customers, you are an employee.、Mm -hmm. For example, the boss gave all of the employees a bonus. For Chinese New Year, you、mm -hmm. could also say the boss gave all of the workers a bonus for Chinese New Year. It's just about the same thing. Right. Okay. Well, let's talk more about this employee happiness、yeah. thing. I'm excited to、happy、hear、workers. all about it. We want happy workers. <laughs> exactly. It、sure. says one thing that studies have shown improves workplace happiness levels. Is artwork okay?、Hmm. So you know he's giving this talk about employee happiness. The first thing he should be doing is you know giving an idea of what he's talking about,、right. and this is what he's done. He's saying that studies have shown, so he's done his research,、mm -hmm. okay, that this thing makes employees happier, and that thing is artwork. Now let's talk about the verb improve we used in that sentence. When you improve something, you make it better in some way. If you're improving happiness levels, you're making people feel happier, of course. So you're just making something better.、Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing when you improve something. As an example, we could say, "I think these plants really improve my living room." Of course, they do. It was a nice place, but、mm -hmm. with the plants, it's, it's now a nicer place.、Mm -hmm. And you want to improve your workplace, just like you'd improve your living room or a、mm -hmm. place at home, your place at work, your desk, whatever is your workplace. Yeah,、mm -hmm. we can talk about your workplace being the office, the building, the room, or even the desk that you work at.、Mm -hmm. If people work at different parts of a factory or in different parts of an office, this is my workplace or my workspace. But we also More commonly use it to talk about the building or the room that you work in. A secretary's workplace might be at a desk in front of her boss's door.、Mm -hmm. If you work in a factory, your workplace could be putting parts on a car or putting a TV together or anything like that. It's the place you do your work. There you go. And if you want to improve it, you want to have some art or. Artwork around. That's right. So artwork is just another way of saying art. Basically,、mm -hmm. it can include paintings, sculptures, photographs, or any other type of art created by an artist. It's not very limited. There's many different kinds of art out there. Absolutely.、Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking, I I want to improve my workplace, but I can't afford a Van Gogh or a、mm -hmm. Picasso or a Da Vinci.、Mm -hmm. Well, well artwork doesn't have to be that.、No. It can be a poster, a picture,、mm -hmm. a little cartoon character, anything that's kind of art or a drawing that makes you happy. That's, that's what、right. we're talking about. It says, based on our findings, having artwork in an office can bring down stress levels <sighs> and make workers feel more creative. Ding ding. Two good things.、Mm -hmm. So, based on our findings, based on our studies, based on our research, this is what they've learned from looking at this topic, asking questions, studying the information they have, and this is what comes out: the findings. And we're learning that artwork can really be good for people.、Mm -hmm. All right. If something is based on something, or more simply. To be based on something is basically you're taking some facts or ideas and you're using those to get other ideas. You're using those to learn new things or to make 
new discoveries. We often use this term when talking about scientific studies or government research or things like that. Based on the latest statistics, based on the latest research, we know or we will know or we will study. So you're using this data, these facts, these numbers, and then you're taking that to try to learn new and more interesting or more useful things. For example, you are welcome to your opinion, but if it's not based on facts, it probably won't win any arguments. Yes, research, studies, good science has to be based on facts, and then everything you learn from that, you know, will be true. So, based on the findings, mm -hmm. artwork can bring down stress levels. And this right. is good because stress is not good. No, that's right. Stress is the strong, constant feeling of worry about work, family, relationships, or any other problem in your life. Now, too much stress can even make you sick. So, it's a good thing to find ways to lower your stress levels. Calm down here. I'm just so stressed. Mm -hmm. That's so much stress, tension, mm. nervousness. My shoulders are so tight. Right. Oh, right. Well, worst. here's an example sentence for stress. Doctors say that exercise can help us get rid of stress. That's true. That is true. Or talking about your problems mm -hmm. with a friend or a loved one, mm -hmm. that can help to bring down your stress. So artwork can help us with that. Mm -hmm. And on the positive or the good side, Artwork can also help workers be more creative. Yes. Creative, this adjective is very similar to imaginative. You're getting new, fresh, original ideas in your head. Mm -hmm. If you're a writer, if you're an artist, if you're a painter or a musician, anything like that, you want to be creative. But also engineers and scientists mm -hmm. need to be creative to come up with the newest machine or the newest yes. computer program or something like that. Something that no one has ever done before, like that light bulb, ding! going off mm -hmm. over your head, that means you are feeling creative. You're coming up with new and original ideas. Mm -hmm. For example, I like this author. Her stories are really creative. They're okay. unlike any other stories I've ever read. I will probably read them. She's awesome. All right. Well, the uh, speaker, Clark Retson, mm -hmm. is going to move on in his speech. He's kind of mentioned what the studies sh say, what's, what this artwork is going to do, but now he's going to explain a little bit more about it. Mm. So he says, let's move on to what kind of art exactly you should put up in your workplace. Now, mm. of course, you're not just going to get a giant statue by Rodin no. and kind of put it in the middle of an office and no. that doesn't really work. Don't want so. people walking around your Henry Moore. Right. That would be inconvenient. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, so what are some of the things, what are some of the good types of artwork you can put up? Because most of us can't afford a Rodin or no. a Picasso. Mm -mm. It says if you want to make workers feel happier, pick paintings with images of grassy fields, okay. forests, mm -hmm or flowing water. So nature. Yeah, yeah, nature. So a Picasso picture with weird people, mm -hmm. that probably wouldn't be the best choice anyways. As you mentioned, yeah. nature. Grassy fields, mm -hmm. like in a farm or a, you know, in a meadow. Mm -hmm. Forests, lots of trees and green, or flowing water. Mm -hmm. Pictures of rivers or maybe, you know, waves on, a, on an right. ocean shore, a seashore. That mm -hmm. is all good stuff. That is. It really calms me down. Okay, well, yeah. that's gonna make people happier, but if you're goal is different than that. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe you're finding that uh, some people in your office are getting tired okay. easily and they're not very productive. Mm. Here's what you should do. If your goal is if your goal is for workers to stay sharp, mm. hang pictures of life in the past. All right. So really? now if you're going to stay sharp, mm -hmm. it means you're going to stay focused. You're going to concentrate more. Things are just going to be Going, 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 you're you're doing things well. That's right. Mm -hmm. I won't miss anything, make any right. silly mistakes. It's like I had a good night's sleep or mm -hmm. a strong cup of coffee. I'm sharp. I'm ready to go. Nothing is going to get by me. Exactly. <laughs> All right. See how sharp I am? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Pictures mm. of the past. So looking at pictures of, of history. Yeah, I would think will so. Will make you sharp. Interesting. Okay. It says, seeing this type of picture helps people score higher on intelligence tests, so like IQ tests or something mm -hmm. like that. So that's interesting. Maybe if you're going to go do a test, look at old pictures of history, things in the mm -hmm. past, and then you'll do better on the test. Maybe. How interesting.
Yes, I mentioned there an intelligence test. I also called it an IQ test. This is the kind of test that you can do at any time. It's not only done in school to students. It's basically just to kind of measure how generally smart you are. Now, I've never actually done one because, again, it's not part of school. But some people like to know their IQ number. You shouldn't put too much faith in it because a lot of it has to do where you come from or how you learn things. But it's a general measurement of how smart or intelligent you are. So that's why we call it an intelligence test. All right. So we've talked about what the science is mm -hmm. behind putting artwork up in your office. Yep. Uh, we've talked about two different kinds of artwork you can yep. put up. Let's learn about something else. It says, in addition, it's important to pick the right style of artwork as well. Now, before we get into the bulk of that sentence, let's talk about the phrase in addition that we started the sentence with. Now we use this phrase to just add more information to what we have just said. So mm. that word add, A-D-D, that verb, just it means to put more stuff in. And that's why we say in addition. Kind of like and or also. Exactly. All right, here's an example. Please finish the exercises on page 34 for homework. In addition, don't forget that you'll have a quiz next class. And don't forget, also mm -hmm. don't forget, or mm -hmm. here's one, furthermore, mm -hmm. don't forget. So yeah, we're just adding another related idea right. to something we just said. So mm -hmm. furthermore, in addition, the style of the artwork is also important. Mm -hmm. What is the style of something? It's basically taking something that can be in various different forms or looks or moods, so we're doing it in one kind of way. We also mm -hmm. might call this a genre, mm -hmm. if we're talking about movies or music or something like that. Jazz, classical, rock, hip hop, these are styles of music. Mm -hmm. Horror, comedy, western, gangster, these are styles of film. We could also talk about styles of cooking, mm -hmm. Italian, Japanese, Korean, barbecue. These are different styles. So it's all cooking, it's all music, it's all movies, but it can be done in many different ways. And that's, that's right. when we talk about the style. For example, Picasso is a great artist, mm -hmm. but I don't really like his style. Fair enough. He's yeah. not for everybody. Uh, give me a good turner. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's talk about a, a certain kind of style. Okay. Here. It says, impressionist paintings often work best to improve employees' moods. Mm. Now, we did see a style of painting in there. We're going to talk about it right now. All right, so what was that style we mentioned in the sentence? It was Impressionism. Now, Impressionism is a certain style of painting that uses colors to produce feelings or lighting effects. Now, it often seems in these Impressionist paintings that they're quite blurry because small details are left out because the colors are more important. Now, some Impressionist painters that were popular in France in the 19th century were Monet or Renoir or Cezanne. And if you've ever been to an art gallery, you've probably seen a copy of one of these people, one of these painters' paintings. All right, now we also mentioned the word impressionist. We can use that as a noun to talk about the person who makes the style of painting or as an adjective to describe this style. We basically spell it like this. I-M-P-R-E-S-S-I-O-N-I-S-T and we change that T to an M for impressionism. So why is it that impressionist paintings might be good for the office? Interesting. Well, it mm -hmm. says that's because images that are too simple or too complex often make workers feel worse. Okay. So if it's a really simple painting, maybe mm -hmm. like done by a child. Like a red square. A red square. Mm. Or if it's really complicated with a lot of things going on, mm -hmm. that would be the complex. That makes people feel worse. Right. One of them might make them feel kind of bored and mm. no feeling from it. One mm. of them might be like, I don't know what to look at and uh, it's bothering me because it's too complex. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Impressionism goes right down the middle in that perfect spot. Right. Complex is a word we have here. It's an adjective. It's very similar to complicated. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff to pay attention to. Or if we're talking about learning things, something complex is difficult to learn because right. there's many things 
to understand. Mm -hmm. Law is a very complex topic. The inside of your computer, if you open it up, might look very complex. There's all these different parts and wires, and I don't know what they do. It's not simple. It's complex. And of course, simple would be the opposite. For mm -hmm. example, the human body is very complex. There is a lot of stuff going on. That's why doctors go to school for 8 to 12 years mm -hmm. because, yes, it's complicated. It's That's complex. Right. All right. Well, remember, we are hearing a speech mm. from Mr. Clark Retson. Yes. He is finished talking about painting right now and, mm -hmm. and artwork you can hang. Okay. And he's going to finish off his speech by asking a question. And that is, does anyone have any questions? So, ah. You know, the people in the audience can raise your hand and say, tell me more about Impressionism. Right. You mm -hmm. want to ask questions about what the speaker was right. talking about. Mm -hmm. You won't say, where is that sock that I lost last mm. week? That's not an appropriate he won't know. question. He no. won't know. But if you're interested in what he was talking about and you mm -hmm. want to learn more, now is your chance. All right. Well, that's the end of day one of our TOEIC article. We are going to finish off with our For You chat. So stay tuned. We'll be right back.